I want I want to make sure it's like really quiet, like to the point where you you just notice it, but it's not really there. Um, so I I stop getting copyright strike on YouTube. You can't hear it. Okay, well that's good. That's good then. That means it's not loud. <laughs> All right. Um, let's check out the recipe. Finally back with the recipe, aren't we? Did we did we cook last week? We did cook last week, right? I don't know. Time is time is not a uh, kind to me. Apparently, I keep forgetting stuff. Okay. Uh, you can't see it very well because camera angle sucks, but that shrimp chili verde tacos uh, looked good from the picture, so I selected it. You know, I don't usually pick tacos because, like, in my opinion, when they put tacos on the uh, meal kit, it's usually not as filling as some of the other recipes because, like, what, three tacos, right? Like, how is that going to be filling? Um, but it looked good. It's got shrimp, it's got corn, it's got, you know, it's got a lot of sauce, you know? So, I thought it would be interesting. Uh, if you take a look at the back, it's not too complicated. It's got, like, uh, several steps, but most of, oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Okay, um, it's got several steps, but, you know, not too complicated. Um, so, with that, we can take a look at, at some of the ingredients we have today. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do the intro today, didn't I? Okay, right, all in the stream, this is this is a recipe from Home Chef. Home Chef is a meal kit that delivers uh, ingredients to your door along with the recipe. You can make the recipe online, stuff like that. Everyone's heard this feel before. And I'm basically reviewing a bunch of meal kits, you know, as I go along. Whichever one decides to give me the discount. So, you know, if one of the meal kits notices the stream, please give me a discount. You will be in my streams basically forever. Um, and with that, today is Friday, uh, October 29th. Um, past 7 p.m., a little bit past 7 p.m. Um, if you are new here, make sure you check out some of the socials below. You can see the Instagram, which has all of the pictures of the recipes that I've cooked, you know, especially the good ones. You won't see the bad ones on there. Um, and if you are curious why you can't see the uh, VODs from Twitch afterwards, uh, that is locked to subscribers only, but you can always check out the YouTube where, you know, all the stuff gets uploaded later on. All right, let's get started. All right, so shrimp, pat it and dry. Easy, right? Not a lot of shrimp, actually. Uh, got shallots chopped, lime, uh, lime juice later. Um, this is the slaw mix that we're going to be using. Um, tacos. Let's see how many there are. I see several, actually. Um, let's see. Looks like there's about four of them. Good. All right. Um, we got some hot sauce, which I will, I guess I will be using. Use everything, right? Corn, nice. Sour cream. What is this? This is just like salsa or something, right? This is the fire roasted salsa verde sauce. And everyone's favorite, guacamole. Yes, I'm trying to piss people off by pronouncing it wrong. Alright. Um, so we got the first step pretty much done. We're gonna do the filling now. Uh, let's let's see. What do I need for the filling? I need a medium nonstick pan. Got that kind of heated up. Um, put it on high now. Uh, we're gonna put some olive oil. Looks like the shallots going in first for a couple minutes. Then we got some corn. A tablespoon of water, actually. So I'll need to put. Uh, I'll need to get some water out of the fridge, um, and then the hot sauce. Okay, we well, can do that. So here's our lovely pan. I like how this pan like remains the same after this long. Like so, I have this other pan that I. Uh, 
got way back in college, I think. It was from like the it was like from a Target or something. And it was cheap like, you know, a uh, set uh that included basically uh everything. And that pan was absolute garbage. I hated it. Washing it sucked. Cooking with it kind of sucked. Cause the what happened was the 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 bottom of the pan it would go unbalanced and every time you put it on the stove it would like kind of like wobble around because it's not balanced correctly and which meant you can't really cook anything correct especially if the stove is like one of these like uh electric flat tops, um versus like fire or anything like that okay so these pans actually work really well for me glad they lasted so long. By the way, how, how has everyone's week been? Uh, I just had two days off Thursday and Friday, so I'm pretty well rested now. And I can't wait for my extended vacation to which I will be staying here doing my because it did say like two teaspoons or something. Again, I just want to coat the bottom. It's a fairly large pan. They said medium, but I'm using large, so I want to make sure I have enough olive oil on this thing. All right. So first thing to add are the shallots. I think I got a message on Discord earlier. I'm sorry to whoever messaged me. I can't respond right now, uh, but I'll take a look at it right afterwards. Ooh, this is gonna cook fast. It's not gonna even last. It's not gonna even last three minutes on the stove like this. This is for the corn, so things don't get burnt. Alright. I'm doing it early because the shallots are already like on brown. Then let's go ahead and do the corn. Oh, God damn it! Last one had to go flying out, right? wonder if one day I should like try to do a stream in like Chinese. Like I don't know the Chinese words for everything because my Chinese is like sucky now. Because I haven't like 
I barely talk to people in Chinese. But I think I could do a full stream in Chinese. Except, like, who would watch this? Like, nobody would understand it anyways. But it'd be interesting, I guess. Alright, let's do hot sauce. I'm gonna go all in for this. As suggested last time, I should just go all in for everything. So that's the hot sauce, all in. for this, I think, now. Oops. Why do you make this so hard? Alright. I think, I think it's good. Yeah. Residuals can leave on the plate because we're going to be putting something on it next. Uh, while that's going, right? Oh, uh, that's ki kind of cool and off here. Uh, move this to the side, maybe. Uh, we need to start making the coleslaw mix. So let's see. What's, what's a bowl I can combine it into? Um, we can use a big one, I guess. It'll be easier. It'll just make the light slightly easier. Angle's a little bit too high right now. I'm gonna lower it. Alright, how's that? Should be slightly so in goes the coleslaw. Are we gonna cook this or is this not gonna? I prefer if this is cooked actually, you know. But it is lettuce, and you usually eat lettuce raw. Oh well. Alright. Lime juice. Lime juice. Hope that was enough. Lime juice isn't that sour, so maybe we need more. We'll see. All right, we need some olive oil as well. Um, let's see, just a little bit. Ooh, that was a lot. Uh, let's do some salt. I've got a new salt shaker here. So we're gonna get some nice salt. Was that a lot of salt? Okay, <laughs> maybe that was a lot of salt.
pinch of pepper. Alright, I'm gonna... I guess toss this. Make sure it's well mixed. Alright, so now we're gonna cook the shrimp. Cook the shrimp. to heat the, um, the tacos, right? I gotta toast the tacos. So, I will need another pan for that and kind of begin doing it right now. All right, so let me get the tacos open because we can only do one by one, so we're gonna have to start early. Tortilla. Or as I should pronounce it, tortilla. <laughs> um, okay. Wait, this is way more. Okay, this is not four. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the front cover shows four, which is only one serving. This is two servings. So we actually get quite a bit. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is even enough for, uh, you know, enough filling. It might not even be enough filling. I'm gonna start getting plates ready for this too. All right, so um, we're cooking shrimp now. Back heat back on. Do some olive oil. Coat again. All right. So for the shrimp, we're going to be flavoring it with some salsa verde, vegetable mixture, and well, we, we have the vegetable mixture that we made earlier. Um, just some salt, I guess. So here's our sauce. I'll put it off to the side right here. And then sour cream and the guacamole is going to be at the end. Yes, correct. Okay. Let's put a bit more. Let's put a bit more. It's feeling a little dry. Make sure they're spread out too. Two to three minutes per side, I guess, or whenever it starts turning color. At this point, I don't think we need any more olive oil, so I'm going to put a cap on it. Get the salsa verde sauce open. 
All right, we're almost done, actually. It's only been 20 minutes since we really started cooking. That's pretty good time, at least for me. Oh, the vegetable mixture is actually the corn. It's not talking about the slaw. Oops, I would have put in the wrong one. Glad they have a picture here. I think I'll go ahead and flip it. I give it a 30 more seconds and then I'll flip it. Uh, hello. I, I can see that. Hello. Do I need to salt this? It says I, oh, salt a little bit later. Okay. Check your DMs. Okay, I guess I have time to check it right now. Um, see, I'm still fattening them up. They're like all bones right now. I'll show them to you later, but like, you know, when you hold them, you just feel the bones. That's not going to be a pleasant experience. You know, just like, just like your, uh, <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, right, um, maybe, maybe, here's the, here's the plan I have, right, I'm gonna put them on Twitch, and, uh, thanks for following, I'm gonna put them on Twitch, see how they do, if they don't do well, then they might get eaten. vegetable mixture and some salt. That was the corn shallot thing that we made a bit earlier. Uh, I mean, see, here's the thing, right? I, I, I said this um, like a stream ago, but basically, I provide them with almost top of the line, uh, you know, care in terms of food, shelter, um, everything, you know. Uh, they have uh, they have a giant cat tree with two rooms, so each one of them can sleep in them. 
they've got a premium water dispenser that I clean every single week and put in a new filter. They've got top of the line food with, you know, top of the line wet, wet food and stuff. You know, I feed them every day. Um, and they've got a top of the line litter box that they fucking mess with every single day and you know, it's supposed to self-clean, but it can't do its job because the cats are assholes. So, unless they want all of that to disappear, they know they have to perform well on Twitch here. You know, I'm giving them a little bit resting period uh, right now, but, but, you know... Their vacation ends pretty soon. Uh, what am I doing with this? Oh, I am still a little bit. Okay. Uh, this should be done. This is done. This is done. I'm just gonna salt this a little bit because th there was no salt on the shrimp. Well, I've toasted one of the taco buns at this point. We'll move on to the next one. I almost forgot about it. It's been sitting in there for a couple minutes now. Um, why no dog? You got two new cats but no dog. Okay, the cats were like coincidental because they happened to be like, you know, my coworker told me that they have cats for adoption. I went and looked at them, and they looked really friendly and great, so I ended up picking them. The dogs just never came to be. It's just, it just never, uh, you know, the opportunity wasn't there. Teach them some tricks. Um, I try. I try. The, the, male, the male cat is actually learning pretty well. Um, he almost has... The sit command down so uh, I can make him sit. The female doesn't give a fuck because she doesn't eat treats and there's no treat that I can really give that really you know entices her um, so there's really no way I can teach her anything. So she's just gonna be a dumbass for the rest of her life. Gotta find some. I don't know, man. You know, you 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 try to put your kids to school. One of the kids wants to flunk school and you know go outside and be like, "It's my life. I do whatever I want." And uh, you know, the other kid, the smart kid, decides, "Hmm, it's a good idea for me to keep studying because I'll get rewarded later on." And he's right. Alright, this is done, so I should have I shouldn't have thrown it away uh the, the plate that I had earlier because I could have used it to just hold it. But I guess I have the burner off, so it'll be fine. Alright. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna attempt to try and make one of these now. I'm gonna try this. Alright. Both my cats are dumb. See? See? And then you ask them, what do you want to do with your life? And they're just like, meow. Jason, you gotta, you gotta calm people down with the, these nut stuff. It's, it's, Come, come up, come up with a new catchphrase, please.
Apparently yelling, uh, everyone's told me this, yelling and screaming to your cats does nothing because they don't learn from it. But I can use deterrence and shit to prevent them from doing stuff. So, for example, today, um, they, they've been trying to get into this little crack uh, by my uh, dryer machine, and I don't want them to go behind there because it's really dusty and then they come out dusty and then they're annoyed because they have dust on their fur and they're trying to clean it off so uh whenever they do that so i have this carton of orange juice that i just finished um and what i decided to try is i opened the orange juice carton i just like kind of pointed it towards them and they would smell it and be like oh my gosh this smells like shit because they hate citrus um and it gets them away from the machine, which, you know, I'm just gonna keep that orange juice in my fridge from now on. Okay. Alright. We, we can make, like, multiple. We are making multiple, actually. They listen to me when I tell them to stop. Yeah, they'll just go back at it, right? So... I guess if you deter them enough times, they'll stop being stubborn. Hey. Wrap the tortillas in a damp paper towel and microwave until warm- Hell no. This is how we're gonna do ours, okay? We gotta toast it and stuff. We don't need to microwave this shit. Alright, okay. so filling. Filling is this stuff, which I'm going to try and put in. Unsuccessfully, of course. I'm gonna do like three shrimp per uh, taco. Um, do the slaw mix, I guess. I'm really bad at portioning tacos, uh, you know, based on my ingredients, because I usually put too much in the first two, and I realize I need to cut back or else I'll run out. And then the last one, I put too much again because I fuck up on the portioning. Uh, okay, here's the... Here's this, just put a little bit, I don't know, I don't know how much people usually put. And they want me to put some sour cream. Makes it moist. Um, yeah, but I can't be bothered to microwave my shit. I hate the microwave. Alright, here's one. Let me get another plate, because this is going to start overfilling. Uh, the first one was a little bit over in terms of the tortilla. I put it in too long, uh, but the rest should come out. Wow, feels like I'm working at a Chipotle right now. Chipotle, wanna hire me? Oh, I'll be a good worker. Yo, can I have a bite? Yeah, if you, if, I, I said this to, uh, there's, there's two offers on the table right now. So, I think, I believe it was a thousand dollars and I have to fly to wherever you are as long as it's in the US and I have to cook you a meal. Now if you want the cheaper option, which is free, if you show up to my city, then we'll go eat something together. Offer still on the table.
All right. I will taste it, like, after this one. I just want to make two of them. Uh, can I get a good picture for this? Probably not. I, I don't even, I'm not gonna even bother. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm too hungry. This is not an Instagram post. Oh, you know what, what, what's good about the Instagram is, you know, since I've been cultivating it with food pictures, is today, um, I took my car in to get it checked, you know, routine check. Should have been really quick, but instead it took three hours. And in that three hours of time, you know, my battery, my phone battery was like draining real fast. And I was trying to figure out stuff to do besides listen to music, because I get bored of that pretty quickly. Couldn't play any games on my phone because, you know, my battery's like going down to 15% at that point. I'm like, what else can I do? So I go on Facebook and I'm like, hmm, let's sign up for Facebook dating. Because I've never signed up for a dating app before, so why not? And apparently they have this option where you can put your Instagram link and it shows you all the pictures and stuff. So I did it. And, you know, there's a profile. It's done. It's out there now. <laughs> That's how bored I was sitting there for over three hours just waiting. All they had to do was tire rotation, check my fluids, and you know, check check to make sure you know everything's working. And that took that shit took three hours. I, unbelievable, man. Um, till when is the offer valid? Uh, there's no expiry date as of right now. Yeah, Montreal would be a problem. I think it would cost a bit too much to fly there. You know, I have to factor in the costs of flying, you know? All right. I'm gonna try this. Not, not spicy. And Jason, for you, since, I mean, maybe th this can help you out. Apparently there are uh, people, there's gamer girls out there. Like they put gamer in their tag. So, you know, when you go on a date and you say like, you know, I like to play games. Hey, there's someone out there. Are fake. I mean, are they really fake if they specifically post in their profile that they love to play Apex? Like, come on, you like you have to be like kind of aware at that point to like know that. Like, if you're really fake, I don't think you would put Apex in your profile. This is pretty good. I, I always love how the tacos turn out. Okay, there is a little bit spice kicking in now. But it's really not too spicy. I'm glad that they respect my spice levels and, you know, even when I go all in with the spices, it still doesn't fuck me over. That's pretty nice. Is that a vegan taco? Benji, 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 Benji. You've said, you've said a word that is just not okay on this stream. Not okay. Uh, 
that's that's just a that's just a no no word in here. Real talk, Japan. Um, Japan will never decide to open, right? I mean, there's only so much research I can do on the red light district. Like, you know, one of these days you run out of stuff to look for. Like, you're just, you've compiled everything together and, you know, like you just, you just know it all. At that point, you just have to go. By the way, I'm not going to be back, so... Yeah, that's going to be a problem. They're not going to even let you in. I mean, Benji, do you like vegan tacos? Be honest. Ooh, I like the way this one looks, my hand here. Hello, can you follow me? Thank you. Ah, ah, ah. Stop focusing on... <laughs> well, you want to camp outside? Saying your wrap is overcooked. What do you mean it's overcooked? It's crispy. I like it that way. Well, you know what? This is for you, Jason. They can suck on these nuts. I like them crispy. I'm having them with like shrimp and shit. Down here, where you get uh, Torchy's tacos with the with the shrimp in them. I don't know what it's called, but it's got shrimp in them. The tacos are uh, a bit crispy, so I like them that way. Why the why the avocado dark green? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, 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 it's guacamole. It's guacamole. It's not, it's, it's just guacamole. Should I start giving recipe ratings? I, I will start today, actually. Out of ten. I will start doing recipe ratings for all of these now. All right, out of a 10, let's see, let's see. I, I'd give this one a solid eight because uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it tastes pretty good, it tastes pretty refreshing. It's not like something that you'd get tired of eating very fast. Um, it's not too fattening, which is pretty good. I think a ghost is, yeah, yeah, a ghost is moving my camp, see? Ooh. Is a ghost. My cat's moving my camera. My cat's the cameraman. One's the IRL stream. You guys, tell, tell me places to go to. I'll do it. Because I can't think of places to go to myself. Because, you know, I like to say that I've 
been to a lot of places that I want to go. So kind of up to you guys to find out places that you guys want to see. Yeah, pick, pick a place. Pick a place. Please don't pick a Chinese place. There's a reason for that. I, I don't I don't believe Austin has a good Chinese place that I can really go to. Like I actually don't believe that. It's it's a great city. It's a great city with uh, with a lot of great foods, but Chinese is not one of them. All right. DM me or put them in my Discord, whatever you want. I'll make it happen. I I do have, okay, so my break starts, right? Okay, fucking fine, I'll go to Franklin, god damn it. Um, my break starts, I think, uh, November 11th. That's when I had my PTO submitted for, um, and I think it ends after Thanksgiving. So I have a really long break that I can just go to places. Dude, it's not gonna be 1 a- I'm not gonna go 1 a.m. in the morning and then fucking wait there until like 6. I don't believe- I actually don't believe, you know, that it'll take that long. I think that whole shit is a meme. You know, waiting at Franklin's barbecue for like six hours. I really hope that is not the case. Also, Benji, I hope you lose today. You know what I'm talking about. I hope you lose the stairs because of what you just said there. <laughs> Josue for the win. Well, the place sells out by one. Uh, well, I'll go there early, but I don't know. Uh, there's a reason why I've never tried that place is because of, you know, the wait time. That I'm sure it's really good, but I feel like the other barbecue places are just slightly under it. So, you know, but we'll see. I'll go there. I'll go there. All right. I've wasted enough time. My food's getting cold, so I want to eat now. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's stream. What is tomorrow's stream? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Tomorrow, there, there's a stream at the same time, 7 p.m. Central. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, you guys want to take a look at what happened to my uh, cats? They, they were being so loud during the stream, and then now they're like just... Put the camera on one of them. Josue says he wants to do it another day. Of course, of course. And you accepted? I thought you guys said it was going to be today. I was looking forward to the match. Uh, does that rice cooker make, like, little song? Uh... It just goes beep. It just goes beep. It doesn't. It doesn't do the. It doesn't do the little song. Uh, it is Japanese, so I thought it would make a make a song, you know. But maybe not. All right. I gotta make these tacos. So, see you guys tomorrow. Submit, submit your suggestions for food places. If there's too many, we'll put it to a vote. Alright. 